um, Son is the guy. If you don't do something of worth against Huddersfield Football Club, Um, new look because um, things are real now um, I've taken a lot of heat from people saying that you know Terry took me down you know he gave me a good beating and so forth you know look at Terry really showed me it's a bit hard to have a conversation with someone who mutes you while he goes on a soliloquy. That's all I'll say. You know, I don't think you can really have a fair conversation if someone mutes you and goes on a rant themselves and then drops the phone. You know, I don't know how that's a dialogue. But, you know, and Chelsea are under pressure. You know, um, they're feeling the heat. And in case they don't know, I'm going to bring up the Premier League table right now. Um, just for a laugh, you know. I don't really have to, but just for a laugh, you know, just, I want to just bring up this Premier League table, you know. Um, so, so what we got here? Um, Chelsea are level points with Arsenal, but they're currently fifth based on Arsenal scoring more goals. And Chelsea are only two points ahead of Man United. So it's real. But before we get there, let's deal with Tottenham. Tottenham are on... What? For eight, for nine, for eight, God damn! What? Let's get our set for more fun game, man. We have a hell of a seven points clip. I don't know what Poch is doing this, but I don't know how are these seven points clear. Look, this is a weird. Like, I told you guys, maths is. I don't think maths is really as you know as cool as us. But people think I don't. There's something up with mathematics. I don't think maths is really what we claim it is. You know, so. I don't know, something's up there. But Tottenham face new Newcastle. And Newcastle will be buoyed and um really, really um motivated by what was their vict their match of, of, of the season. An absolutely amazing, incredible game that they had against your boys Man City, which pretty much threw a spanner in the works in the Premier League title, but Liverpool did not take advantage. So for Tottenham, it's it goes like 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 this. Um, Son is the guy. Son is the man right now. With with Harry Kane out, Deli Ali out, Son is really the dude that Tottenham have to lean up on. I still say um, Son is Tottenham's most dangerous attacking player, and I just feel, feel that with what he can do and how he can run and take things down, um, he's going to be very crucial. Um, this is a game I feel that Tottenham are probably going to win. But just let's just look at the game a bit more closely. I think for Tottenham, they know that they have to start well. They have to move the ball quick, quickly. They can't be too reliant on a possession game. They've got, they've got to make the ball move fast, you know. Um, I just think that the, the faster they make the ball move, the sharper they are, the more likely that they will start to get open. Because I think that the danger is Newcastle will give them possession. So if they just are slow lethargic and they're waiting for the game to come to them i think that is what will allow newcastle and i think what newcastle will be looking is just trying to get a soccer punch get those free kicks get those stoppages get yourself in good area just trying to get those opportunities look, look for those bounce runs but to really get in those up those um propositions they don't want to be under too much pressure from from tottenham and they want to pretty much get tottenham to really lose their concentration and then pounce on them but um so that being said tottenham being at at home um, I get it, your rent is still a brick, but Homeboy has scored two Gs since, you know, um, and he scored the winning G. So maybe that winning G will help your rent to, like, pretty much give him the confidence. He's always going to be a brick. Like, I mean, he's never lived in the academy. I mean, he's one of our finest bricks. It's, 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 it's never happening. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I. Tottenham win this game. Tottenham win this game. 2 0. 2 0 Tottenham. I think Tottenham take this 2 0. I think they. They they take take some zero 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 because uh, yes they've got their injuries but Lucas Moura is back I believe Sissoko is also back as well I believe Wanyama is also saying what well, what's up so I think really the main losses I believe correct me if I'm wrong is really Harry Kane and your boy Dele Alli um so yeah two zero to Tottenham now there are issues happening within the Chelsea ranks I'm not gonna lie um and 
a lot of things have been said. But my thing is that, do you want to just have the narrative, the cool narrative, or do you want the truth? Because it really seems as if people don't really understand how football works. I've had downing tools. I've had player revolt, player power, um, a struggle for power. I've held all I've heard all these different things. Um but the reality of the of the matter is this. I find it very hard to believe that Chelsea are intentionally losing games. That makes no sense. Does Aspeliqueta strike you as a dude that's like, man, screw this sorry, dude, man, how dare you error start? As a professional, let's just not really try that hard and let's just say whatever. David Luiz, yeah, let's just say whatever and just down tools. Yeah, Hazard, you're the lead leader of us. Whatever you say goes, and let, and let, and let's just, you know, um, not really try that and just intentionally lose, lose games. That's not how football works. That's not how, how, how football works because it's not that complicated. Players are not playing well. The tactics needs to be readjusted. Simple as that. Now, if Chelsea don't win this game, um, something, needs, something needs to happen. Either some players need to be totally dropped, be hung out to dry, either sorry needs, needs to be sacked, or questions need to be asked of Abramovich, because where are Chelsea heading? And Abramovich was always something riskless. When Abramovich came in, it was cool, it was amazing, he had all this money and everything. But I said, long term, this is dangerous because this is just a very rich guy that's on the edge. Because Abramovich is a guy on the edge. He's on the periphery. He's on the outside. Okay, He's not an inside guy. He's a guy on the outside. So I just thought, you know, that's kind of money. So it's, it's, it's just risky. And as you see for Abramovich, you know, he's not really about I'm building a football club long term. Let's have a manager that's really... He's... Abramovich is just—he's just a guy. <laughs> it's just a guy with a lot with a lot of, of cheddar. It's just, it's just, the, the dude is just a guy. So, yeah. But there is no analysis to be had within this game. Huddersfield are terrible. Um, they've lost their manager. They've lost their way. Um, they are getting relegated. They stand no chance of remaining within the, the Premier League. So it's just about pride. So if Chelsea don't win this game. I don't think those players should turn up for the, any for the remainder of, of, of the season. They can they should not be allowed to turn up for the remainder of the season. And I'm not sure whether Sari should even turn up to be manager or, or coach because I think everybody has to now take a blame. Because I think what people are saying is like, oh no, Sari is the good guy. The players are so evil. It's the players that did it for Sari. Oh, the players are so bad. Oh, you evil hazard. Evil hazard. Oh, HH. Oh, you're just a hazard fanboy. Yonsville via Bodom Central. Take a left turn. <sighs> Drive. Okay? That's why I think about that. Sorry, you're a professional manager and coach. Shut the hell up and go on, coach. Don't try and use my games by, I'm going to say things out in public. I'm going to keep my guys in. I'm going to say these guys are very hard to motivate. I'm not sure. Do your job. Shut the hell up. Hazard. You need to raise your game. Because I know that you're the only guy on this team that has a clue. In the second one, because I watch the games closely and I do watch football and I do play football, so I can see when there's a player who has the mindset that is needed to be creative and has the technical ability to really make things happen. But when you're the only guy making things happen and nobody is on your wavelength, so nobody is reading the one suit that you're trying to make, the through ball you're, you're trying to make, or the touch you're trying to make, it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult when you don't have guys who are on the same footballing level as you because, again, the way you make openings, the way you create chances are you're, you're, you're playing with guys on the same footballing level as you and guys on the same footballing level as you is where you can do one touch football where you don't even have to think. That's how you open things up by playing fast football where you don't even have to flip and think. 
Um, that's just some ABC one two three four for bowling knowledge for some of you, you guys out there. But as you you got to raise the game. You, you you simply have to because you you have to be you have to be greedier. You've got to take the initiative a lot more, and you've got to demand the ball a lot more. Because again, if you do not, nothing's going to happen. So you've got to ma make things happen. You have to take that shot right now. You've got to score. If you, 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 you just you've got to score more goals. You've got to create even better kinds of, of chances. You've got to put it on the plates for flipping dude. For Gonzalo Higuain, bro, um, you need to lose weight. That's the first thing. You need to lose some weight. And mates, there is no time for you to settle in. Either you start scoring now or your career is over because you ain't going back to Juventus. AC Milan have Piatek. So if you if this doesn't work out for you, your career is done. So you pretty much have to start scoring right now. Because again, for Higain, if you don't score at least a G or two Gs, really, I'm expecting a minimum of two Gs. Against Huddersfield, if you don't score a minimum of two Gs, bro, I mean, you might as well just start packing your bags all the way back. So things have changed right now. Okay, so... For Chelsea, I think Chelsea needed they needed lubrication. They need I mean, based on the embarrassment and the absolute disgrace that Bournemouth gave them, they need nothing short of a lubrication will suffice. That's that's the bare minimum. That's the bare minimum they need to lubricate what is foot. Really, we're looking for a circumcision or a baptism. Ideally a baptism. Ideally a, ideally a, a, a baptism, but minimum requires a lubrication, you know. Like a one zero two zero ain't gonna cut it now. Nah. It, it ain't gonna, gonna, gonna cut it. So what I think is gonna be, um, I believe that the boys are gonna react. I believe that they're gonna, they're gonna respond because they have to. And um, as for Zad, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know what Zad is gonna do. Um, Zad is under a lot of pressure. He's under the spotlights. Um, I'm under the, the spotlights and so forth. Boom, it is what it is. But I'm gonna ride with 4-1. Um, 4-1 to Chelsea. They get it done. Um, I believe he can get a G because he has to. I believe maybe I believe even William gets a G and Pedro gets a G as well. But it's going to be 4-1. That's what's going to happen. And let me I'm just I'm just be before I go. Um, Jorginho. If you don't either score, create a real opportunity, or do something of any worth in this game. Bro, you're 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 done out here. This is Huddersfield again. No offense, Huddersfield are bottom of the table. They've got eleven points. So I'll repeat myself. Jorginho, you cost fifty-eight million. Fifty-eight. I wouldn't pay that for you, but that's just me. But someone did. So someone believes in you, which is cool and great. Fine. You know, it's a free world. People can think what they want to think. If you do not do something of worth, and I that. Keeping the ball as a register doesn't count. If you don't do something of worth against Huddersfield Football Club, I want you to pack your bags, go back to Brazil, not even Italy, go back to your origin, because you're not even Italian, you're actually Brazilian. I want you to go back to Brazil, lock yourself in your mother's home, and never show your face again. This is the ultimatum. It's your boy, Half Hope. I will be here for the post match analysis where we will be um, reacting and reviewing a 4151 um, circumcision or baptism. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. Now, think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfhopefootballhot.com or just click over here.